Well, good morning from beautiful and sunny North Carolina. I'll be with you all in just a moment for another edition of Sunrise Sunday. Well, hello everybody, it is a hot, humid start to my day here Sunday morning in North Carolina. It's about 9.40 in the morning, and um, it's supposed to be up to near 100 degrees today in my town. There's been so much that has occurred in our, in our world, obviously, over the past uh, few months that has everybody talking about so many different things, and um, I, I'll share a couple of my thoughts here this morning with you as well as I'm walking around here in my backyard and Try not to overheat too much already. We're going to have home church here with some friends, and and uh, we still are uh, on quarantine and and uh, limited ability to go to places. Um, also, those of you that are following along in any bit of news, knowing about the horrific incident that happened with uh, that gentleman who passed away, uh, George Floyd. He um, actually uh, was was uh, at a funeral and buried about. Um, about 30 or 45 minutes away from my home here. He was transported back to, uh, to North Carolina in Rayford, which is a town adjacent to mine. And um, quite interesting, some of the things that have been occurring as a result of that, and um, the unrest and the nerves, the love, the, uh, the pain. There's just so many emotions that are out there for people to experience and embrace and go through. and. Um, Everybody has their ways, that's for sure. Some are, some are good and some not so good. Some healthy, not healthy. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that, um, that we can learn from a lot of things uh, throughout this world uh, what important things really are. Life is, is so valuable. And in a moment, it can be gone. It's so valuable to understand what that really means. And I uh, just want to say I love you all so very much. I appreciate who you are and what you've been doing in my life and for me and giving me the the strength the drive to want to continue pressing forward to do what I do for you um, because really that's what I'm here for and I was talking to uh, to my friend Afia here in uh, Saudi Arabia this morning a bit well my morning and uh, just you know reflecting upon a few things about the importance of, of what's going on out there and at the end of the day I really don't care about social media and uh, LinkedIn and, and Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Um, it is a, a means that's necessary to, to get the communication out there that needs to get done. However, um, you know, I, I just wish that it could be a bit different. Um, I really, I'm passionate about you, I'm passionate about engagement, and, um, and not some of the junk and the crap, right? It's just, it's par, par for the territory, I guess. And uh, he came under attack recently for even just talking about where he loves to live. And how stupid is that for anybody to attack <laughs> that, that you love to live where you live? It's dumb. So um, anyway, I thought about a couple of things this morning I wanted to share, and, and one was in a proverb that I was reading this morning. I tried to on my Sunrise Sundays to share some things from God's Word with you, and um, hopefully this one would, would be something that speaks to your heart specifically at the time that we're living in right now and for your personal call in life. All right, it says in Proverbs 10.4, slackers will know what it means to be poor while the hard worker becomes wealthy. Slackers will know what it means to be poor while the hard workers will become wealthy. Well, that's an amazing thought process there uh, for a couple reasons. One, well, it doesn't mean that if you are poor, you're, you're dirt and you're nothing. It doesn't mean if you're rich, you're all that. What it really means is that it's a mentality. It's a, it's a state of mind. It's a place where you want to choose to live. And I don't choose to live uh, to be rich um, financially, per se, although there's nothing wrong with being financially rich. Um, it's, it's a matter of what you do with what you have. Um, I have learned over years in my life, my stories and circumstances with uh, drugs and alcohol and um, wayward life with uh, my battling with disease 
uh, relationships, family, that um, what you have really determines your wealth. And, and that's not, not just money, right? That means who you have in your life and, and how your life is, is orchestrated and how you, how you choose to live things out. And a person who lives from a posture of wealth, it's a person who understands where wealth comes from. And for me, it's about imparting that to other people. There's a, there's a wealth of wisdom in understanding and sharing understanding and wisdom and, and life and light is, is an incredible opportunity to become one of the richest people in the world. I know some people in my life that I've been uh, blessed to know that don't have a lot of money, but they're some of the richest people I've ever met. Uh, I know people that have nothing. I know people now that have nothing. In my ministry, and the orphanages that I have under our care in, in Africa, uh, some other orphanages that want to be a part of what we're doing that I wish I could help even more. They have nothing, literally nothing. They, they wake up every day wondering where things are coming from. And, and they're happy with what they have. Yet, yet we continue to have this little rat race that we always have to have more. And, um, you know, a lot of times we have to understand that less is more. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an encouragement today to, to look at where you value your wealth today. Slackers will be known they know what it means to be poor. It's not like you have to understand that, right? Um, while the hard worker becomes wealthy, the hard worker becomes wealthy. So what are you working hard for today? And what establishes your wealth? What will people say about you when it's all said and done? All right, my friends, just another quick hello to you from Matt Crump here on uh, Sunrise Sunday. If you ever need to, uh, to get in contact with somebody who can help you just overcome obstacles, to really live into your call to achieve your number one goal, and understand what it like means to live in a life of abundance, I am here for you. I'm your guy. And uh, I'd love to help you get through this. Now, here's the thing also. And there's a lot of folks that offer programs, and, and I do too. And yes, mine are, mine are pay, paid programs and some that are kind of cost you a couple of bucks. But, um, you know, the investment that you're gonna make in your life, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world, um, you know, it's no longer time to kind of just wonder what if. It's time to say, it's time to go and time to invest in yourself. If you've always wondered, can I do this? Should I do this? Is, can my business go to the next level? Can, can I go to the next level? Can I attain those things? Yes, you can, but you can't if you slack. If you live in a posture, a mentality of slack, you cannot. But if you work hard for it, if you take in the time to invest in yourself, you'll be amazed what can really happen in your life. I promise you, it'll be worth it. All right, another Sunrise Sunday. I hope and pray you all have a great weekend. Anything I can do for you, please feel free to reach out to me here at LinkedIn. Uh, you can DM me directly or visit me at mattcrump.tv. Until the next time, God bless you. Don't forget, flip out. <laughs>